Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know it's been a long time since I made a video. Um, editing takes a while, which is why I don't do it. I recently made a TikTok. Okay, by recently I mean like a few months ago. I made a TikTok and I've been posting art stuff on there. And a lot of people on there have wanted me to make art tutorials. So, you know, that's what I'm going to be posting on my YouTube channel now. It's just art tutorials on how I draw stuff on my digital art. Um, today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw hair. And it's going to be a super simple tutorial just because it's a lot of, I don't know, like trial and error with hair. Let's just get right on into the video. <laughs> okay, so it's very essential when you're drawing to have a hairbrush. Um, I downloaded mine off of DeviantArt where you can find a lot of free brushes for like Procreate, Photoshop, um, any other app that you can use really for drawing. But basically with straight hair, you're going to want to start off with your darkest color, which I'm just going to use dark brown for this. And you know, you can do a variation with bangs, which basically is like this straight across, or get rid of that. If you don't want to do bangs, you want to start, you know, kind of at the hairline here. And you can just kind of draw down. And with straight hair, you kind of want to keep it uniform. Um, make it all go one way. And you can also vary this. And when you are drawing hair, you kind of want to go a little bit above this, um, the line of the head because hair does pop out a little bit. And it's, I'm gonna make it messy here just cause you know, I don't wanna take forever. And like I said, with bangs, you can kind of go through, and do something like this. Um, and then I like to make my hair brush really, really, really tiny. And then I go through, that was a really bad one. <laughs> I go through on the edges and I kind of just do the stray hairs. Then what you want to do is you want to go through with your second color, so your mid-tone color. Again, just kind of start shading, go in that one direction, and kind of add spots where the hair would be highlighted. You also want to leave like little dark spaces too. And then still with your medium mid-tone color, you want to go through on the most highlighted parts and add in more color. All right, and then you want to go through with your lightest tone Kind of add those highlights where they should be on the highest point of the hair. And then you're going to want to go through and blend all of that in together. I like to make my brush tiny first and do those strokes that you usually find on glossy hair. And then I make my brush bigger and kind of blend that in more. Now I know this is like a super quick messy tutorial. But um, if you take more time on this, I promise it will look better than what I'm doing. That's kind of it for the straight hair. With curly hair, it's a little bit different because you go in spirals. Now, instead of using the hair brush to draw it, we want to use a hard brush just to get that base shape down. Because usually, let's get rid of that, usually, the curly hair is more in a shape like this and then you just draw this kind of stuff and connect them on both sides like that. So it's kind of like in this spiral shape that you see. Now what this will look like is, let me draw a better version of it. If it will let me. What this will end up looking like is 
more like this. So you start with your darkest color and you are just going to kind of give it that spiral shape. And at the end, you're going to want to taper it off. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through kind of add the stray hairs. Now with this one, you're gonna take your mid-tone and you're gonna go on parts that should pop. So right here, here, maybe a bit here. And then you are just going to shade that in. Now with curly hair, as you can see, it's kind of harsh right here. So you're going to want to blend in your color just a little bit more. You can also go through once again and take your dark color, which I like doing, and going through and kind of like blending in the sides again with the lighter color. And I kind of keep doing that until I get what I like just so it's all like very uniform and very well blended. Now you're going to want to take your lightest color and very, very carefully place where the hair would shine the most. And this is going to be different on every drawing because um, light sources are in different places. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through, kind of add more of the stray hairs. Alright, and there's that for curly hair. Um, you can add as much definition as you want. Um, you can make the curl as tight as you want or as loose as you want. Alright, so with the basics of hair, essentially an over review that oops um, you want to start out with your darkest color always 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 why because it just makes it easier to layer up the colors on top and I've tried doing it with you know lighter colors first and it just was a lot harder to do so you want to do like a, a nice I don't know how to explain it. Just do your brush, make it big, and make hair strands. Then you want to go through, do stray hairs, because the stray hairs are what adds to the realistic look to it. And as you can see with a hairbrush, it gets all the little hairs, and it also adds this dimension to it, that shading that you can see. Again, lighter color is next, your mid-tones. You want to add highlights and you want to shade wherever your light will be shining on your hair. And as you can see with the brush, it already adds all these like shaded, light tones, dark tones that natural hair would have. And then add more stray hair. and then take your lightest tone and then add the highlights. And then again, make more stray hairs. So this is a basic overview of drawing hair. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Let me know down in the comments um, what other tutorials you would like to see and if that was helpful for you. Yeah, and um, if you create any work, please tag me on Instagram so that I can see the stuff that you guys create. Um, let me know if you like seeing our tutorials. And um, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye!